In a forgotten corner of the kingdom, a chillin' version of the classic Cinderella story unfolded. This Cinderella wasn't a beautiful and kind-hearted maiden, but a wicked sorceress who thrived on the pain and suffering of those around her. The once grand castle, now a gloomy fortress, was ruled by the malevolent Cinderella. Her stepmother and stepsisters were enslaved by her dark magic, forced to carry out her every command. One fateful night, as a grand ball was announced, the kingdom's children were filled with dread rather than excitement. The wicked Cinderella had ordered the children to weave a blood-red carpet. Their tears stained the fabric as they toiled. As the night of the ball approached, whispers of her dark intentions spread throughout the land. The townsfolk watched in terror as she floated through the castle, her eyes filled with a sinister glint. The night of the ball arrived, and the terrified town folks gathered in their finest attire, forced to attend by Cinderella's decree. As the clock struck midnight, her guests watched in horror as the chandelier shattered, raining shards of glass upon them. Cinderella revealed her true form, a monstrous creature with her eyes that gleamed like blood and fangs that glistened with malice. The terrified guests fleed, fled the castle. Walls incensed itself seemingly alive, trapping them within. But the cursed kingdom wouldn't remain under Cinderella's rule forever. A brave young girl who had witnessed the horrors managed to outsmart the wicked sorceress. With the mirror reflecting Cinderella's malevolence back onto her, the sorceress bound her dark powers broken. The kingdom was freed from Cinderella's reign of terror, but the scars of her cruelty lingered. The legend of the wicked Cinderella served as a chillin's reminder that even fairy tales could take a horrifying twist when touched by darkness. <laughs>